units, we have a situation in Westbrook. Please respond. Copy, dispatch. I swear to Christ, if it's Uridine again... Today, home, come on, come What's on. What's the matter? It's nothing. There's nothing I can do if you don't tell me. Hey, V! You ready? So glad he came. Molded over in my head, y'all were right. Sometimes the only rational course of action is a kick in the nuts and a bullet between the eyes. You nervous, Tom? How'd you know? First time you've done anything like this. Just imagine you're doing what a doll does. Just different program. You're great at that. Any idea how I can get to Hiromi? Pulled the blueprint, got it all figured out. Okay, not all, but we're good on the penthouse. Best bets to access it from the service level. Got a way in from there. And Michael, where's she? Meeting with Hiromi to avoid raising any suspicions. She'll make him stay put until we're in. Just remember, let the behavioral chip do what it wants. Got no time to deliberate and weigh decisions. Just follow your instincts. Freeze, tense up even for a second. Could cost you your life. All right, we going in? Let's do this. You two, head in right after us. Go straight to clouds. About fucking time. However, in an abundance of... Stay sharp. Gang goons might be lurking. We'll continue to keep you informed as the situation develops. Gotta jack into the panel on the other side. Can you take him out? But then, everyone all in position? Tom and Roxy should already be at Clouds. 
We go on Maiko's signal. They'll mop up security, you deal with Hiromi. But first, you gotta get into the penthouse. Not coming with me? More likely not to be detected if you're alone. And besides, I'll be more useful here. If they activate any alarms, I can override. Get in breach, security. Get me in the penthouse. Thought I could do it, but... Sorry, it's not gonna happen. Gotta manage on your own. Okay. On my way. Elevators on the other side. Be safe. Right, on the roof. Jump down onto the balcony. Careful, though, okay? On my mark! Go! I'll be late. I told you, I have shit tons of work. No, don't wait up. I don't want any fucking dinner. Everything you cook tastes like... ...sawdust, anyway. Jesus, fuck! Floor's clear! I killed them! I killed them all! Same here! Go to the surveillance cam in front of the security...
empty room. You're here, finally. I was beginning to think you wouldn't make it. Right, wrong. Chicks will give you shit no matter what you do. This one's a real charmer, too. I don't like her either. Tries too hard. Didn't want to trip any alarms. Had to come through quietly. Fast forward a year. Could have called off the guards, you know? Would have been quicker, simpler. I don't have that kind of authority. Yet. Why are there three guys? What's she planning? That's our at? target. Hiromi Sato. Don't have authority yet? Sound damn sure of yourself. Left no room for error. We're exactly where we need to be. What are they watching? Demo reel of Cloud's next top doll. Specially selected by yours truly. The lucky girl's gonna replace Evelyn. Hope she proves smarter. Who are the other two? Target audience of today's presentation. Hiromi answers to them directly. Now they're gonna watch him die in a pool of his own piss. This is not what we agreed. Look at me. See this? This is a look of unfucking surprise on my face. I know face. the claws. To them, power is a question of strength, ruthlessness. This is the only way. Michael! I'm about to jack him out. They will not be chirpy after the rude awakening. One show ends, another begins. Just as good and unforgettable. Understand? Michael, our plan made no allowance for witnesses. A show of force, we said. And any show requires an audience. I know how this needs to play out, better than anyone. You gotta trust me. I thought this through many times. Meaning you want to replace her only. Mm-hmm. Even if that means joining the Tiger Claws. How the fuck else do you expect me to protect clouds from other gangs? Don't like this one bit. Too late for second thoughts. Tom and Roxy have done their part. Your little doll revolution is underway. Either we consolidate and win it all, or let everything go to waste. Do your thing. Well, she is no Barker. Wait. What's going on? Who is this? Living proof that Hiromi Sado's time is up. This merc has already disturbed the clientele at Clouds once. And now she's invaded Mr. Sato's private residence. As if that were not enough, this is where Hiromi's sheer incompetence has led all of us to. What? What the hell? I have long looked upon Hiromi Sato's foolish, inept endeavors. But this? I think it's obvious he has outlived his usefulness. V, what the fuck's she doing? Clouds need new management. Am I to understand that this future manager stands before me now? Hold on, Maiko. Think you're getting carried away. I see not all has been agreed. V, you gotta take them down. That's why we're here. Dolls of Clouds are declaring their independence. Club will be run by them, and only them. V, let me do the talking. Tiger Claws will get a cut of the revenue, but they'll have no say in how the club is run. Stop this right now. I'll get everything under control. You cannot even control your own mercenary. Hiromi will answer for his incompetence later. Whereas you will answer for your insolence now. I'll fuck you myself! V, 
What the hell were you thinking? Have you any idea what's gonna happen now? What might that be? They'll have their revenge. You've turned clouds into a ticking time bomb. Can't know that for sure. Maybe the lives we cut short will be enough for the claws. They do profit and loss better than Militech's CEO. They'll see it's not worth it. They wiped their hands of the mocks. Maybe clouds is due its freedom now. Time to let it go, Maiko. Get out! Get out now! All right, V, get out of there. Exit's on the lower level of the apartment. Then find the elevator. <sighs> Tom and Roxy are outside and safe. They weren't followed. Get down to street level. Waiting by the food stalls. Fuck. Should have seen that coming. Probably had this planned from the start. Same sec we walked into her office. Jesus, am I a gunk. Don't be dramatic, Judy. There's a difference between being a gunk and believe in people want to do good. I know you do. You don't need to believe that. I just know it. Thank you. See you later, V. See you around, Judy. Oh, you again. Thank you once again for your help. And yet, you did not help. Good intentions do not justify murder. Please, be back in peace. Fine, be my guest. Trying to rip us off? I got four bags missing here. That's the cut I got off Pablo. Don't like it? Take it up with him. I ain't dealing with him. I'm dealing with you. That means you and me got a problem. Now, I could paint the sidewalk with your guts, but that wouldn't get me what I'm on. Oh, you want to try? Go on, son.
One of my net runners is unresponsive, in spite of clear orders to remain in direct contact with me. Something must have happened. He would not dare go against me. Familiarize yourself with the brief and proceed swiftly. I need him. Maybe someone pried their hand in. No, no. It was quiet. Like, from a basement. You come here to eat dim sum or talk about ghosts? Look, Fee, it's you in the near future. Every net runner ends up the same way. Brain fried by some corpo ice. Looks like he's still breathing. Hey, you all right?
two seconds. Wait, I, I can't. Wake up. Give me one moment. I don't know how long I hear, but as you Americans say, I'm starving. You're in luck. There's a restaurant upstairs. I know. The whole time. Those aromas. What torture. So you were conscious? Partially. More like in deep hibernation. Had a peek at your messages. Looks like this spectral kid was right, huh? Hmm. I get stuck after all. Uh, when he find out, he'll become completely insufferable. That way you didn't ask him for help? Case of a fragile ego. No. But because I was trapped in the subnet, the lights were as far as I could go. Any idea what's in the Corpo code case? You young people ask too many questions. See for yourself. <laughs> Maybe it's not such a good idea after all. Ha! <laughs> You're a fast learner. So, you're probably wondering who sent me. Wakako. She always find an excuse to drag me to her place for dinner. You must visit me someday. I'll show you a few net running tricks. Wasn't it me who just saved your ass? We never stop learning hard lesson. But you don't have to do everything alone. Thanks, I'll think about it. informed of how you handled yourself. Good work. I expected nothing less from you. I am closing the contract. Just a little more time. Yeah, yeah, you turn it into a goddamn rocket ship. I know. All ready to go? Hey, V. No, not yet. Carol still needs to check if Militech left any ice in the systems. Corpos haven't shown up in person to report the loss? No, I think we managed to keep them off our scent. We left the trucks with the big Corpo logos down by the Raffin camp. Which was almost as much fun as leaving a bag of flaming dog shit on their doorstep. 
fuck made it look like he just came back from a corpo war tour. Nice touch. Everything's fine. Clean as a whistle. And so, what about him? Nothing, for now. We're staying out of each other's hair. So he's not planning a family council? Of course he is. He just wants to keep me in the dark a while longer. Always wanted to take one of these suckers for a spin. Which is exactly how all those naive gonks landed at the front. Didn't even need to be recruited. They just showed you the tech. Go on, hop in. Everything is set. Let's fire her up. Hold on to your head. Damn it. Anybody get this thing up and running earlier? Maybe you Everything gotta... is dandy. Give me a moment. It's not the latest model, but Mitch and Bob did what they could. What do you think? Well, at least now I know why people call them coffins. You steer directly from your seat. All you have to do is jack in. What, no knobs, buttons, blinky doodads? No, none. The impulse runs directly to your cerebral cortex. In a sense, the basilisk becomes an extension of your body. It's like a mystical oneness. Ever piloted anything like this? No. Why? Don't you trust me? Can I still get out? No. Then I trust you. Oh, if it's so mystical and shit, why the co-pilot? Extra support? I'll tell you once we're a bit further from camp. We'll practice. Okay, if you want full functionality in an engagement, you need a second person to handle sensory overload. One pilot steers, the other handles the gun. It's oddly pleasant. You'll see. Okay, this will do fine. A dry run first. I'll disconnect for now. Doesn't need two pilots? You won't be steering and firing. Are you ready? Pan Am? Is this, uh, as designed? Neural synchronization doesn't happen at the snap of one's fingers. It'll be over soon. There. See? Okay. Starting to understand what you meant. Warm up. Don't worry. I'm not gonna watch. Just put it through a few turns. All right. I can see you've grown bored. Now take her along the line of turbines. When I say so, swerve right or left before the last of them. All right. Left. Very good. Keep her going. Right. Yes, that's the way to do it. Let's 
do some shooting. Stop and I'll activate the system. What's on the menu? Don't get excited. The Basilisk is a cargo ship by design. But it should still be a good time. All right, blast those wrecks. is over. Good. Now I'm going to connect. It could feel strange. Meaning... Basilisk pilots have to be fully synchronized. That means our nervous systems will be linked. Okay. It's as if you booked a room with two beds, but got a double bed with a blanket wide enough for half. Know exactly what you mean. Hmm? Tell you later. Okay, let's try this. Guess I'll get to know you better than I'd planned. All right. Let me just say, it can be difficult at first. You'll experience feedback, sensory echoes as our systems overlap. Probably comes naturally in combat. Mm-hmm. Right. Starting now. All of us, each on his or her own, must think first and foremost of what's good for the family. Come on, Saul. If I have to leave the clan, please just say so. Spare me another speech of yours at the very least. I'm afraid you'll have to sit through a few more. Because from this day forward, you will lead this family by my side. I will what? I wish to do this properly, but fine. Have it your way. I was wrong. You were right. That's the truth. May it never happen again. But I... I, I made a mess of so many things. You said... I know. But I changed my mind. You risked everything for this family. Not even knowing whether you'd be welcome the next day. Okay. Okay. Well... I... Many things will have to change. Yes, and to start with, we need to leave this place. Quickly. We can't wait for Militech to find us. Of course. I will prepare our route. Congratulations. Terrible choice. I voted nay. Thank you. Thanks. I need to cool down, I think. Will you come with me? An interesting day. I feel as if I barely evaded a rapidly approaching train. It's pretty close. 
I don't know if I could have done it without you. <laughs> Come on. Shit. No, I'm Did serious. Did you see the Basilisk in action? We all owe you. It blasted so you can count on the Alder ah. No squirmies. Lie still. I need to examine. Good to know. They won't dare show their faces again. How many did we drop? Our lord. That's Nobody's our behind lord. the bar. They could have been I like. That basilisk could come around sooner. Pan Am missing from camp at such a critical moment. She'll have some explaining to do. Beer? To you? Lemonade? I see it. Beer me. Leave her alone. Are you about done? Moose has got a nasty ass gas too. To happy endings. Gonna miss our little escapades. Me too. On the other hand, though, who said this one was our last? V, look around. Look at them. They could be your family. Panem, what do you... Stay in camp. Join us. Really not that simple. You either want to or not. What's so complicated? That's the problem. What I want right now doesn't mean a thing. All right, V. I shouldn't drop bombs like that on you right now. I just thought, eh, forget about it. I'll think it over. I V? Pan Am. I... V, relax. Everything is okay. How do you feel? Where... Where are we? You passed out. Completely. We took you with us. Where? We moved camp. You are safe. Everything is under control. Oh, V. V, you have to tell me what is happening. The blood. You were out for hours. What's wrong? Pan Am, I... It's getting worse. Every single day. Okay, V, relax. Take it bit by bit. What is happening, exactly? tell you the whole truth. I'm afraid things won't be the same between us if I do. V, cut the crap and tell me what's going on. I'm worried. You know, Johnny Silverhand? Yes, they sometimes play those oldies on the radio. Why? That's just it. Johnny's alive. He's sitting in my head. He's what? Am, am I not... Is this some sort of strange metaphor? Long story. Got a job, fucked it up. Now Silverhand's personality construct's sitting in my head. Bullshit! Yeah, well, he's not too happy about it either. Turns out we don't really mix. And it's getting worse. You are not joking. Just trying to live with it. <gasps> Survive, actually. It's certainly not doing wonders for your health. I gotta go. Feeling better. Really. Wait. I will go with you. I thought I heard that voice. Hey, Mitch. Finally. We were worried. Took good care of your ride. She's over there. But you're not leaving us already, are you? Is everything okay? Much better now. Thanks for your help. I'm glad to hear it. See, so you made yourselves at home already. We do have some experience in this. This is a good place. We have greater control over the area. The rest will settle in quickly. But tell us, how are you? You scared us. 
Thanks. I'll stick around for a bit. Make yourself at home. Great. Remember, our offer still stands. If you need help, the Aldecaldos are here for you. And that, at least, we can agree on. If you need anything, you know where to find us. Want me to walk with you? I know this area. Back from the old roots. You're really safe here, though? For now, yes. Militech does not venture this far. And our vantage points really are much better. Hey! Welcome back to the land of the living. About time Sleeping Beauty decided to join us. Hey there. But you know, everything here, it is temporary. All of it. We will soon have to decide what comes next. V, back to what we were saying. I will not even pretend to understand. I don't think it has even sunk in yet. But I am serious. How can I help? Honestly, not a clue. But there has to be something. Someone who can... Remember Hellman? He's the one who created the personality construct tech. That's why you wanted to get him. But it was a dead end. Now I have to figure out where to go next. You'll find a way. And once you do, let me know. I will help. This whole family will help. Saul was not joking. You understand? Thanks, Panam.
My man, Dex Deshawn. How's that quiet life working out for you now, Chu? Ah, oh, fuck a dog doll. One thing I know like I know my own name. You do not poke around strangers' cool boxes. Best case scenario, you find a half gallon jug of rancid milk. Worst, motherfucker up a sad mass. That's Raish Bartmoss. The Bartmoss? Data crash rabid Bartmoss? Guy who trashed the first net? Well, it wasn't his uncle. Yeah, yeah, him. I'd recognize that mug anywhere. Wanted posters all over town back in 2020. Public enemy number one, dead or alive. Half the city was on the hunt. Poor bastard. Ended up here as a dead rat in a cool box. Till some circuit blew and he thawed like so much meat. Uh -huh. Yeah, about 20 years back, judging by the stench. Well, stood about as much as I can. Gotta go. Hold up, hold up. Gotta be some electronics in here. First net relics, almost crank-powered. Be a shame just to leave it. Even if there is, it's bound to be bunk. Bound to be? Wouldn't be so sure. Only one way to find out. Need to think about it. Said the gonk who missed the shuttle. Come on, look inside. Oh, wow, wow. An SGI Tech Elisla. Best cyber deck in its class. See? Worth getting a little rod on your hands sometimes. Hey, just thinking. Cat at the afterlife goes by Nyx. Looked like somebody who'd know legacy tech. Chat him up, see what happens. Could end up pulling something from it. Know you from somewhere. Sorry, you've got the wrong guy. Wait. The negotiations between Arasaka and N54, that... that cyber-psycho scandal in the Defense Department. You used to work for Arasaka. You were behind the leak, weren't you? Thought you got flatlined, and yet... here you are at the afterlife. A fellow ex-monochromer, I see. Only thing I miss is the clean air. What's it like, working for Rogue? It's fine. 
That's it? Fine? You want info on Rogue? Ask her yourself. I'm sure she'll be ever so obliged. Listen. From one Netrunner to another. Got any pro tips you could spare? <laughs> Don't see why not. If you're cool with Rogue, you're cool with me. I can sell you a few tricks of the trade from the Bart Moss era. Reach Bart Moss. THE Bart Moss. Tell me you're not fucking with me. Before dropping off the grid, he unleashed a slew of ice-breaking grams and protos in the darkest corners of the net. Heard how paranoid he was. Any idea what happened to him? <sighs> Who knows? But I was able to dig up a few classic Bart Moss relics. Here, let me show you. Hey, Nix. Listen, found something. Bart Moss's deck. Mm-hmm. What else you find? Alan Turin's tapes? Being serious. Have a look-see. Ooh, running shits. Goddamn, V. Where'd you ferret this out of? Found it outside town, in a fridge, next to its former owner's rotting corpse. <laughs> Bart Moss all the way. Netwatch made him a wanted man. Went looking in Shanghai, Lahore, Santiago de Chile. While that dog alighted to the net. Wonder how long he'd have kept buzzing those wires if the power hadn't gone out. Think you can pull anything off it? Hmm. Tech's coming apart. Humanity damaged. Encryption on the mem cube. Gotta be near Divine. Spare me the two-step, yes or no? I can try. Failure, though, is a distinct possibility. Then all data will be lost. Done and gone. Think there could be some no longer known vectors on the disk? A, a data crash-like thing, or rabbits? Cause... if so... Then we pop open a bottle of malignant gin. Painfully aware of the risk I am. But speaking straight, curiosity's consuming me. You feel it too? No risk, no reward. Get to it. Okay. Put the deck on the counter, just ginger-like. All yours. All yours? Oh, V. V, got no sense of reverence. Expect if you found the goddamn Holy Grail, you'd fill it with caramel corn and pop turds. Now, let's get this show underway. Hmm. Hmm. Most data's corrupt, but not all. Password. A dick attack, maybe. Nothing doing. And what about injecting a command? Ha! <laughs> We're golden. One more hurdle. But it ought to be as easy as pie. My, my. Of all people, Bart Moss should have done better. Ah! 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 Catch it, Ratchet. Ideas, V. Fast and stat. Couple of minutes and his skull sponge will be well done stick. Okay, what do we got here? Saw what we got. A brain broiler. You absolutely sure you want to jack in? Shh. Gotcha. Uh, uh, fuck a muffin. You breathing? Apparently. 
feels like I got a skull full of hot embers. Just... What the hell happened? You started convulsing, lights went out, outlets started spitting sparks. So, I sat down and finished for you. Hold up, hold up. Mean to say, you reached by Ma's deck? Lowly you? Damn straight. I'm the best net runner in town, after all. Out it, kid. But maybe someday. All right. Let's see just what you pulled from this artifact. Logs, mail, chat history of sorts. Mm. Potentially interesting, but nothing explosive. Ah, uh, shame, kinda. Well, I guess I can delve some more, see if I can't find something interesting in there. Listen. My services usually command a tidy sum, but this time, well, seems you rendered me a service. Take this. Handful of demons live on that shard. Wasn't Bart Moss who coded them, but they should be useful nonetheless. Thanks, Nix. You gonna get it together? Be all right? Or you need help? No, no. Be just fine. A couple of painkillers washed down with whiskey. And I'll be a new man.
Gaia need gone. Used to be iron for hire. Still acts like it. But the eddies are worth the risk, trust me. Need more intel, check the attachment. Waiting on your seat. Thanks. Whoa! Think fleas like you just get in for free? You got VIP rooms here? You know, for private shindigs? Hmm. Reserved for the boss and co. Think he could use a little more company, hmm? Don't try to play me. Either I see Eddie's, or your ass is walking. Just chill, all right? Here. Thank you. 
Sweet Jesus. You hear that? Do you hear what they're playing? Each to their own, Johnny. That's what peeps with bad taste always say. Don't know what he did to deserve what's coming, but his music taste is reason enough to drop it. Uh, hey, how's it going? Music in here is god awful. Eh, I like it. B keeps me awake. Want to have a word with your boss, Ian? Oh, you're out of luck. He doesn't really like to talk. I don't care if he likes to talk. I asked you if he was here. Uh, sure, he's upstairs in the VIP room. Just don't expect a friendly welcome. I'm already leaving. Ah! Place is dead, man. Told you we should have gone to the afterlife. Okay, if we go there, will you promise to quit pissing in my fucking ear?
I have so much life to live. Whispers Master bit the concrete. Nicely done. Gig sealed. Your boy Dino needs a drink. Later, V.
91.9 Royal Blue Radio, broadcasting live from the heart of Corpo Plaza. Hey, Jude, what's up? Uh, you know, same old. You? <laughs> Funny, I was just thinking about you. So, do I got amazing timing, or are you always thinking about me? You know, I could be cursing your name in my thoughts. Oh, hey, I'm just glad you remember me at all. Because I got a favor to ask. Ask away. It's never boring with you. Interesting people aren't easily bored. Not in your company. Okay, now that we've blown each other, what's up? You're on a need-to-know basis. So, this particular mission don't require you to have no gun. Just a wetsuit. Gotta say, I'm intrigued. Why the wetsuit? <sighs> Can't back out now. Just gonna have to use your imagination. Really know how to reel me in, don't you? Ain't seen nothing yet. All right, then count me in. But I gotta warn you, I look great in a wetsuit. Believe it when I see it. Damn out past Rancho Coronado. Know it? Sure. What about it? Little, uh, abandoned bungalow lakeside. Meet me there. At sundown. Okay, um, is this a date? Guess you'll have to find out. We'll have to. See ya, V. Thank <laughs> you. 